Hi everyone, welcome to 2017 Holy Grail shower and hair items. So I'm actually gonna start for before I get in the shower and the first thing I do is oils in the hair. And if you do nothing else, do coconut oil. I will link a video where I show a whole myriad of different oils that I use that are healthy for the hair. They help it to grow. They're stronger. It gives it more elasticity. And I go through probably five or six different oils that I mix together. But like I said, at the bare minimum, if I had to recommend one, which is what I'm trying to do in each of these categories, it would definitely be coconut oil. Also for my hair, bleaching is the Revlon. Um, what's it called? Revlon Color Silk. And I swear by that, I'm a mad chemist. I'll link my latest video of how I combine a whole bunch of different colors. And I put oil in my hair even when I am bleaching my hair. It sounds crazy. You would think your hair's not gonna take the dye properly. It works just fine. And it keeps your hair protected and healthy. So now in the shower, I had a really tough time narrowing down the shampoos and the conditioners. For the shampoo, I love this Dove Dry Care. I also like the Herbal Essence for stripping the hair, but I wouldn't say it's holy grail. I could live without it. This is super duper hydrating. In addition, I also love the Suave Moroccan. I love both the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, these are amazing. I get the Moroccan infusion and I absolutely love these. They hydrate is what I'm looking for. I don't have curly hair. I don't have tangly hair. I have dry, dry, dry hair. So both the Dove and the Suave are fabulous. And then I also like for a conditioner, the Aussie Moist. This is very hydrating for a two minute moisturizer. It is amazing. It has so much moisture to it. And when I want to do a deep mask, the Shea Moisture 10 in 1 Fruit Complex, I Super Fruit Complex, I absolutely love this. It really, really helps to hydrate my hair. The last couple of things for in the, in the shower are the Caress Body Wash in Passionate Spell. I love that. It's not because it's hydrating, it is 100% because of the smell. I absolutely love that smell. And what I do is I put a couple drops of baby oil into the body wash and that makes it hydrating. I also love these dollar store gloves and you use them in the summertime to get rid of any flakiness, make your skin nice and smooth and exfoliated prior to tanning. I also use these a little bit on my heels in the winter time, just you know, having one glove on as I'm washing my feet. And this is fabulous. I actually like doing this before the shower. It's a foot file. And when your foot is dry, you will scrape more off than when it's wet because it's obviously softer and it's not as much abrasion. You've got to be careful. Don't shave too much off, but love doing this and then using the glove in the shower. And then when I get out, it my feet are baby soft. And then I love the tree hut scrub in mango. I think that is my absolute favorite. I know everybody likes a different scent of that, but I really love the mango. The Trader Joe's Shave Cream. I always put it in a pump and it makes it last longer, but it means you shave your legs less often. This shave cream lifts the hair and it allows the razor to get closer. It really will extend your time in between shaving. And for razors, I love the Mercure razor. This is a safety razor and you put safety blades in it. So you have to be very careful to not cut yourself, but that is a definite. When I get out of the shower, the first thing I do is put my hair in a turvy twist and then I will finish drying off, get dressed and everything. And just a couple minutes in the turvy twist really squeezes out the last of the water before I start putting everything into my hair. Love and swear by the Nutri-Ox Serum. I have the shampoo and conditioner as well. I think the secret sauce is in the serum. And if you want to put it on steroids, what is absolutely incredible is a derma roller. You derma roll your scalp and then you put this on. It will soak in deeper and you will get even better results. And I'll link a video that I did on derma rolling your hair. When I get out of the shower, I showed the video straw into gold. I swear by the Jamaican black castor oil, strengthen, grow and restore leave-in conditioner with shea butter, peppermint and keratin. 
and it's for natu natural chemically processed color treated or heat styled hair it's never affected my color i swear by this it hydrates it makes my hair manageable and my hair dries out more in between shampoos so then this really really hydrates it and helps it be manageable like i said i sometimes put this on in between times and then for my hairspray i have three I love this Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine, which allows my hair to be flexible. So when I'm putting my hair up in Velcro rollers, and I'll link that video below, I give it a little spritz at the root with the Paul Mitchell, put the uh, Velcro roller on, and it gives it more lift and oomph right at the roots. For freezing it, it used to be that I absolutely love the Tresemme. I still do, but I think this is my new favorite, which is the Kenra. This is a um, generic product from Sally's. Oh my goodness, I love how this absolutely holds. And when we travel, this really seems to hold even in humidity. I really, really like it. I wish that it came in a spray because this is obviously too big for TSA, but I don't know if I know that when I leave here and we go somewhere else on that first day, it always holds up fabulous. For my curls at the end, my hair is stick straight. It doesn't hold a curl. It hates to curl. It rebels against curls. This ISO Plus hot, hot, hot. You spray it on, you curl it. It will stay all day long. And yes, this curl is initially sticky and I just kind of fluff it out and that's it. It stays all day long. And then finally, in between my shampoos, if my scalp is at all oily, if I have overdone it with the Shea Moisture, which doesn't happen too often, I put this on in between shampoos at night and it soaks in. It Very rarely is it too oily, but if it is, the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak. I love this, it also gives my hair some oomph. Believe it or not, after I shampoo, if my hair is too clean and it won't do what I want, throw a little bit of this in it and that gives it the texture that I need. So those are my Holy Grail shower and hair items. I would love to hear what yours are. I always get fabulous ideas from you. I hope you picked up a tip or two or a product that you think could work for you. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you next time.